Good morning, Year 3. Uh, today, we are going to be learning about um, the grid method. So we're going to be using the grid methods to help us multiply large numbers. Now, up until now, we have been learning about how to use the distributive law of multiplication. And today, you will see how that comes in handy. So if you don't remember what that was, just go back to the lesson uh, I believe was on Tuesday for you to just go over and see what the distributive law was. Again, this to distribute was to break apart. And we said that um, ideally to help us with our calculations, we'll break apart the larger number in our multiplication. And then we uh, once we break the number up, then we add the uh, products from um, those two numbers that we have broken apart, and then we'll get our answer from that. Again, that's very quickly uh, explained, but if you want to um, listen to a more detailed explanation on that, because you will need to really have a good understanding of that before moving on to today's lesson. So um, over here we have our simple multiplication. So again, our numbers are getting a little bit larger and this is just an example. I've used uh, 3 times 45 and for your example I want you to select any uh, numbers. Now for the multiplicand, so this is this number right here, this is called the multiplicand and this is called the multiplier and my answer is called the product but you've also have heard me refer to these numbers um, in my calculation as factors so you can use factors uh, or you can use multiplicand and multiplier that's just a little bit more precise but again factors would just be uh, equally uh, susceptible um, okay, so let's get on um, with it. Um, oh, just before I begin to describe the grid method, I just wanted to highlight again the vocabulary that we're going to be using throughout. Again, if you need to stop or go back um, to understand what I'm referring to, uh, please do do so. Um, okay, so we have got our... Um, multiplicand and we have our multiplier. Now with my multiplier in the grid method what I am going to do is I am going to partition it. I'm going to partition it into my tens and to my ones. Now I've done that because that will allow me to um, work with uh, numbers that are easy to calculate. Um, so that's why I am doing this and I can do this because of the distributive uh, law of multiplication. Again, if you need to refer back to what that is, please go back to Tuesday's lesson and um, have a review. Now, as you can remember uh, from when we were in school, we use counters. So in this case, these are my 10 um, counters and then the value of these are 1. Now, I have separated these in this way, and I will explain why I have done that. Um, because originally, I only have 40, so that's 10, plus 10 is 20, plus 10 is 30, plus 10 is 40. So that's what I have here, originally, in my multiplier. And I partition that into 40 and into 5 as well. So I have 5 ones, so which 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But with these... Um, numbers, what I needed to do, I needed to multiply them. And again, multiplying and is the same thing as repeated addition. So I did this, or I represented this in this way, so that you can clearly see, again, what multiplication is really all about. So I have 40 ones, I have 40 another time, and I have 40 three times, because I have three, one, two, and three lots of 40 and I've used these counters to show what I'm actually doing. Now if you don't need to use the counters that's quite fine you can just go 3 times uh, 40 
will give you 120 but if you're not at this stage that's okay as well you can just go okay so i have one two three forty once right time um, once i have one two three forty twice and i need to do that one more time one two three and four so 43 times that's what this is this multiplicand is telling me to do so with this with my tens i have done that and if i am i don't quite um get the 120 right away i can just simply count so one so that's 10 that's 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 and 120 so this is very important to give your counters value so that you're not just counting just like i did there at the beginning i counted as one but that's not really one it has a value of 10 so we want to make sure to indicate the value of our counters by putting the tens um, inside of that circle or the counter now I do the same thing with my five, which are representative of my ones. And again, originally I only had five, one, two, three, four, and five, but I have three lots of those. So I have one, two, and three. And again, for some of you, you will be able to see that that is 15 right away, three times five. However, if you do need to use the counters to support that is quite fine as well. So you have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So once I've done that, those calculations, uh, and I've used my counters to help me, to help support me in this, um, then what I need to do next, and this is part of the distributive Lot. I need to add these two together in order to get my product or my answer to my multiplication. So just to the side here, I set it up nice and neatly, making sure, so again, I have 15 is coming from here. So remember that when I add all of these together, I get 15. And remember that when I add all of these together, I get 100 and. 20. Okay, so that is where these numbers are coming from. So 120, I'm going to put first on top. And I'm going to make sure to line up my ones with my ones, my tens with my tens, and my hundreds with my hundreds, so there are no hundreds here for the 15, obviously, but make sure to do that, just a reminder when we set up our um, additions. So again, zero plus five is five, two plus one is three, and then one add zero is one. So my sum, which is the answer to my addition, is 135, so my product of um, multiplying 3 times 45 is 135. So this is what we call the grid method. And for year 3, this is the expectation as to how we need to solve these, uh, these calculations, these multiplications that are getting increasingly um, more complicated. Now, for your mild, um, I would like you to select one uh, multiplicand so you can select let's say nine i don't want you to select a two digit one so please select one digit multiplicand again this is the multiplicand uh, so it could be five it could be seven it could be eight it could be nine it could be three it could be two i don't want you to select one that's way too easy um, so any one digit multiplicand and I want you to challenge yourself so if you feel that you want to do two digit multiplier please do just like I've done here in my example but if you want to challenge yourself and you want to go perhaps with a three digit uh, multiplier please do so again um, you can roll a, a die and you can see perhaps what you get for your uh, for your ones for your tens and for your hundreds, just to make it a little bit more fun for yourself. Um, then after you selected maybe a couple and you have done and set it up in this way, making sure to use 
the pictorial representation. That's what it says in the success criteria. So please refer to the success criteria um, to just know exactly what um, is being asked uh, of you. Once you've done a couple of those and you feel very confident and you know exactly how to partition the numbers, you know that um, how the distributive uh, law of multiplication works, that I need to add these two together, these two products together, um, and then that will give me my final product. Then I would like you to explain. So write an explanation as to how you set this up. And also in your explanation, I want you to use all of these terms, okay? Now you can select to use factors for multiplicand or multiplier, or you can just use the more precise vocabulary, which is multiplicand and multiplier and product. And one that I forgot to write down is sum. Again, the sum, uh, just a reminder, is the answer to my to an addition question, okay? To an addition uh, calculation. Um, then for your uh, hot, 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 I would like you to create um, just some questions and you can give them to perhaps your parents or if you have any siblings or you can try to solve them yourself. So just continue to practice this method uh, and if you have any questions, please make sure to email myself or uh, Ms. Edwards and we can um, answer them as best as we can. I hope that you have enjoyed today's lesson and I hope that um, home learning is going really, really well for everyone. And I hope that you're keeping safe and I cannot wait to see you guys um, back at school. Um, just remember to use the counters. Remember to um, set up in this way. And um, again, I cannot wait to see some of your um, learning. Please send them our way. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone.